How's it going, Pokemon trainers? I'm training our caller, and we are here for week eight of the Indigo League of Legends, where the SF Swappers are taking on the Carolina Persians, aka August. So, this was. Let me say this right now. I lost terribly against August. Okay? Spoilers, I know. But the reason behind it was I went to Fanime. Of course, Fanime was that awesome anime convention that I went to last weekend. So, I actually scheduled the Battle August right after I came back from Fanime. And you know what that meant? That meant that I was super tired, and I was unable to concentrate. <sighs> Just a dumb decision all around. Uh, so we lose to August, but this is the, one of the shortest battles you're going to see against uh, August here for the ILL. And I'm bringing uh, Rotom, Rotom, normal form, Klegal, Charizard X. Primeape, Glaceon, and Forges. Now, immediately, looking at my opponent's team, I made a mistake. I really should have brought Sableye, because Sableye kind of shuts down everything with bargaining the opponent, with, like, Will-O-Wisp and all that, but we, we don't get a chance to do that. So, in the beginning here, I see uh, Amy Palm. I'm like, fantastic. You can just switch out and go into something and not take a... Electric type move, but he goes for knockoff and just wipes out Zap Sonic immediately. That really sucked. Um, I was like, really? Come on. So I go right after that. I go and just smash Toria, and I figured he was going to switch out and just slow bro. Of course, slow bro doesn't really mind uh, smash Toria or Prime Ape in general because it's a fighting type and. Um, Slowbro is a psychic type, so fighting type moves will not work against Slowbro. That's the whole point. So I go into Rosa. Rosa uh, is my fairy type, has a lot of special attack because it's my offensive variant. I figure he might switch in a muck, and just for muck, I have psychic. And so, setting up Calm Mind enables me to have a plus one psychic ready to go, and we see just how bulky the darn muck is. And he gets to blast Rosa away with a gunk shot. I was really sad to see that. Um, if I... It's really tough. I, I really thought a plus one psychic would do a lot more, but that is just getting its whopping special defense. Muck is no pushover with that statistic. So here we go in the Berlinator X, and this particular Charizard X is very similar to um, Extreme Fire, where it has Fire Punch instead of Flare Blitz. I really thought that Dragon Claw would KO the Muck from that range, I, he survived with like 1 HP or something, and he has Rain Dance. So that means that my fire type moves, like Fire Punch in this scenario, is going to be decreased in power. Now here is where the trouble begins. He has a Mega Swampert. And yes, guys, I enjoy having Mega Swampert. One of my favorite Megas from Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. But we see we're going to get destroyed by Mega, my Mega Swampert. Excuse me. And it's like if I had Sableye, I would go into it right now. Instead of Smash Toria, I would just, you know, bring Sableye and hit him with a Will-O-Wisp to cut down his attacking power, making it a lot easier to deal with. And because I didn't do that, we're going to get wrecked by Mega Swampert. And, uh, you know, I really should have prepared for this. This was just a 
really major mistake in not preparing for this mega swampert. Now, I am actually surprised about Crystallacia. Um, for one thing, we force him out, and uh, he goes into a Scavalier. Of course, the Scavalier is one of the slowest Pokemon in the entire game. It's a steel type, which means Iron Head might one shot, uh, but we see Crystallacia, the shiny Glaceon, is able to actually take an Iron Head. Uh, that is actually really good. I, I, I'm really happy about that. Uh, but at this point of the match, guys, that is not going to help us, unfortunately, for me to say. We do restore our health with a Citrus Berry, but in the end, I don't have anything. For a Scavalier, we might freeze it. Nope, we don't get a freeze there. It would have been awesome, though. But, you know, that's going to be the match. Uh... Great game, August. You got my number there, and uh, I, I promise you we're going to have a match in the future just to make up for it, because, you know, scheduling a match with me being extremely exhausted from the uh, week-long or the weekend-long uh, fan anime convention, I really should have scheduled that match much later in advance. So that's the match, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Right after this, I'm going to be posting some Johto Classic battles, very similar to the Kanto Classic battles that you guys saw previously. If you have not seen those matches, go check them out, just to get a feeling of what those battles are going to be like. And with that said, I will see you next time. Have a great day, trainers.